Hey everybody, Jochen Hayden here, and I'm back with an update and correction to my last tutorial video about assault value. So, in, just so you know, I'm kind of getting over a cold or just getting a cold, so if I sound a little stuffy or sniffly, I apologize. But, I think it's important for me to get this out. So, you guys may recall from my video the other day, I did a, a calculation on a spreadsheet where I showed the, the firepower of a unit. Uh, namely, this one right here. Okay. Um... And in that, I stated that at the time of making the video, I did not see any evidence to show that the AA weapons contribute to ground combat. And I didn't include their values in the video. Well, after I posted the video, <clears throat> um, a very vocal person on my uh, Discord took great offense to the fact that I did not calculate these values. And he, we got into a very long discussion. I'm talking a long discussion about this, okay? I mean, it went on for a day, but uh, I was just not convinced. And the gentleman did provide a lot of evidence, and he made a very compelling case, but the pessimist in me said, no, I, this can't be true. I need to see something. Uh, I need to see a test. I want to see a test. So um, some guys on my Discord made a test and here's what they kind of found let me see if I can bring it up again so basically they went into the editor and made up some uh, scenarios where it would be Japanese infantry attacking a unit that had strictly AA guns in it for example this one right here they put a thousand Lewis anti-aircraft machine guns right that's it nothing else versus the 144th Japanese uh, infantry regiment and look at this 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 brigade with only AA guns completely shredded the Japanese unit. Okay. And they went on to test other things like... Let me see if I can find some more examples. Let me scroll through here. Okay. <clears throat> A thousand Bofors, uh anti-aircraft guns, right? Nothing else, just the AA guns, right? You notice the assault value is zero because those are not considered part of the assault value calculation potential. And here's the results for that. A thousand Bofors give you an adjusted uh, a, adjusted defense value of 304 versus 79. And the casualties, look at this. 848 Japanese casualties, none to the Allies. So I don't know what more convincing proof there can be than that. I am completely convinced and I stand 100% corrected and I want to make sure that I get it out there that these weapons, these AA guns do at least on the defense contribute to the firepower equation they don't I, i'm still not entirely sure if they add assault value in the calculation although the tests suggest that they do right because you get an adjusted value here from just aa guns even though there's no infantry units vehicles or anything in that unit they still created some sort of value <clears throat> so apparently they do add assault value on the defense at least I, I'm not entirely sure if they add to the assault or if you're attacking, but they definitely do contribute. So with that information in mind, I want to correct the, the video as at least as it pertains to the firepower discussion. So now that we know through the tests and through all the evidence that was given to me that these AA weapons do in fact fire, let's fill out our chart and see how it changes the math here. Okay. So where do we find this information for AA guns? Well, I'll tell you what. You're not going to find it here, right? Because I didn't find it here at first. See, uh, 50 cal AA machine gun times 4. Uh, there's no values for anti-soft or anti-armor. If you want to get these, you got to dig a lot deeper. And this is where you have to go. You have to go into the editor. AE editor, right? So let me kind of show you how to do that real quick. So let's close it up. Basically, you go back to your Warren Pacific main directory, wherever that's installed on your computer, and you go to the Sen scenario folder, Sen, and then you click on either one. I use AE Editor 64 because I have a 64-bit computer. I don't know that it matters, but you open that up, you let it load, and then you go <clears throat> up to File, Open Scenario, and pick the scenario of that you're you're playing with. For me, it'd be either one or two because that's all I play. Uh, different scenarios may have different values for the weapons, for the devices, and all that. So 
be aware of that. Uh, but we're just talking stock game right now. So let's load up scenario one. It, it does this kind of weird window thing, and then it loads up. So if you want to find out the, the power of your device, you click on devices here, and then you can kind of type in what you're looking for. There it is. Uh, is this it? Nope, this is not it. It is a little. It is sometimes kind of hard to find stuff in the editor, so you may have to look around. The, things are kind of grouped by weapon type, so I'm gonna look for machine guns that are AA machine guns. I, sometimes the search doesn't work well. Okay, geez, all right, I found it. I had to fumble through the editor. 0.5 inch M2 HB AA MG times four. Look at that anti armor 25, anti soft 80. So now we can come in here and go to this anti armor 20. Anti soft 80. All right. I'll put NA and then the 3 inch <clears throat> M1980AA gun. Let's look at that one. I already found it, so it's right here. So anti armor 80, anti soft 12. Anti armor 80, anti soft 12. So now we need to calculate that. All right. And then. I'll change these to black because you know they're they're included now. Sound detector is still is just an electrical device. So let's bust out our calculator and we'll figure out what we got here. It's see 20 times 8 160 80 times 12 960 jeez. And then over here to the uh, anti-soft, 80, which is a lot, 80 times 8, 640. And the 3 inch gun is 12 times 12, 144. Now, one thing that I kind of screwed up here also was this divided by 10 thing. Um, that's not accurate. It's The firepower is still what it is. Um, it's not divided by 10. The AV that the support units give you once it's been calculated is what's divided by 10. So if you have 70 support units and they all survive the battle, they will give you 7 AV in towards the calculation at the end. So I'm going to put that back because they're actually outputting everything for firepower purposes only. Anyway, let's calculate this, okay? Do some auto sum here. So now the Marine unit goes up to 2570 anti-armor. Wow. And their anti-soft with these new calculations go up to 2547. So adding in the anti-aircraft weapons into the firepower equation dramatically increases the, the firepower of these units. So that's a big mistake on my part. And that's why I want to put this, this um, video out to correct that because I was proven wrong through testing and through evidence, and I want to make sure that I ad acknowledge that and give you guys a more accurate portrayal. Let's go ahead and look at the Japanese to finish this comparison, right? So we'll look up the 7.7 uh, Type 99 anti-aircraft machine gun. We'll go back in the editor. I think it's up here. I hope I can find it quickly. Let's try 7.7, .7, see if that helps us. There it is, 7.7 .7 Type 99 AAMG, Anti-Armor 1, Anti-Soft 9. So let's go in here and plug that in, Anti-Armor 1, Anti-Soft 9. Uh, okay, oops, and there's seven of those. And then we'll do we'll do the same for the um, thirteen point two. So thirteen point two. Thirteen point two AAMG. So anti armor nine, anti soft one. Yikes. Oh, is a type. Oh wait, let's see if we can find the type eighty three. I want to find the actual correct one. Well, I don't know. We're gonna. F I don't think we're gonna find it. So we'll just go with the thirteen point two AAMG since we can't seem to find the Type eighty three. 
We'll go with that. I think that's close enough. Because if you look at this type uh, 93, it's not that much different. So we'll go with the type 8. We'll just go with the, the standard one here. Okay, so anti-armor 9, anti-soft 1. That's pretty pretty bad. Anti-armor 9, anti-soft 1. So that's 36. That's 4. That is 63. That's 7. Let's, let's run the calculation here. So, now looking at the Japanese firepower, they're even more outgunned than before. Like, it's it's pretty dramatic, right? So, again, the core tenet of the video that I put out the other day is accurate. You cannot look at this pre... Um, this AV potential that you see on your order screen and expect a good result. Look at the firepower that this 6th Marine Detachment brings to the table. Massive anti-armor potential. Massive anti-soft potential against, you know, infantry against armor. This Mizuru 1st SNLF does not have that, okay? In a straight-up gunfight, this unit is going to overpower this one, especially if this unit's on the defensive, because that's what I'm certain that these uh, AA guns contribute. Um, I think more testing is required to see if they uh, contribute on the attack. But let's even assume that they do for either unit. Um, this unit is badly outgunned compared to the 6th Marine Detachment, despite the AV being a third higher. So, again, my previous video, the point of it was not to, to, to focus in solely on this firepower calculation. It was just to show you what goes into determining the outcome of a battle, and it's not just the potential AV that you see up in front. But, that being said, I do want to correct the previous video that I made, where I did not accurately or, or correctly calculate the firepower of the anti-aircraft guns as they have been proven through testing to contribute to ground combat, at least in a defensive capacity and in a big way too. Now, let me give you a, a, a just a caveat to this testing that you saw. In order to get these kind of casualty numbers, we had to go crazy with the amount of anti-aircraft guns. 1,040 millimeter Bofors cannons. Never will you see that kind of firepower in a single unit. It's just not going to happen. Um, this is just to accentuate the point, just to really show you that they do contribute. When you when you lower the numbers down to the typical amount of anti-aircraft guns you'll find in a unit, I think you'll find the firepower they contribute to be nowhere near as deadly as this, right? So just just bear that in mind. We had to really add a lot of guns into um, into the editor to make it produce these casualty rates. That's just to show you that they do work. So I want to thank Mike B75 and Mr. AMMW from my Discord for taking the time to create these tests and to to prove uh, what apparently everybody else already knew. I just needed to be, you know, convinced. Um, the people on my Discord that were, you know, going blue in the face trying to tell me that this is the case. Uh, they should be commended as well because they did not give up. They stuck to their guns and they just refused to let it lie. And I'm glad they did because it helps me make more accurate videos. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this update and correction. Um, I'm never afraid to admit when I'm wrong, but I'm kind of a pessimist by nature. I need to see the results. It's hard for me to read stuff and just put the pieces together and, and say that's what it is when it's not black and white. And to me, this topic was not necessarily black and white. You had to take 10 different sources and put them together to derive what is actually happening. That's the way I see it. Others may not. But the testing proved it. Those people are right. I was wrong. And that's what we got. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you're a Japanese player, you better watch out. Because these Marines are packing a lot of firepower. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one.